Out of the blue and wonderfully, Greg Gutfeld has pulled the curtain back on a series of shocking revelations about former President Barack Obama. These revelations have the power to make most people question what they think they know about Obama, which could change the story of his presidency in ways that no one could have imagined before. There are secrets in these discoveries, right? What will their change in popular opinion mean? Get ready for the truth, which is not what you have been told. Greg Gutfeld is a name that really hits home, especially with Fox News watchers. Gutfeld began his odyssey in standard publishing. He was born in 1964 in San Mateo, California. He graduated from UC Berkeley in 1987 with a degree in English. He then started working as a writer and editor for several magazines, such as Men's Health and Stuff. While working at Stuff, Gutfeld created a style that was controversial and meant to stir up trouble. Gutfeld's TV career took off in 2007 when he started Red IW slash Greg Gutfeld, a late-night Fox News show that mixed comedy and political comments. The show didn't have many viewers, but it helped Gutfeld get a spot on The Five in 2011. The Five was a roundtable talk show that became one of Fox News Channel's most watched shows. He made the show a lot more popular with his quick wit and sharp analysis. Gutfeld beat all records for the previous years with his own late-night show, Gutfeld, which was a strange mix of political commentary and comedy that didn't follow the usual late-night format. People like his unique style, which is often sarcastic and disrespectful, even though he is firmly conservative. They like how he can challenge people on both parts of the political spectrum. But Gutfeld's direct style has also made him unpopular, as many people have said he is too harsh and doesn't respect other points of view. As is often the case with events that get a lot of attention, leaks can start heated arguments among the public. This leak was no different. People were shocked when the papers in question were leaked to the public after being meant to stay inside a big company. These records, which include voice recordings, meeting minutes, and private emails, give a very clear picture of how the business works on the inside. It's really amazing what was revealed. The leaked papers showed that there was trouble within the company's leadership and that different groups had different goals. Some leaders pushed for moral and open choices, while others pushed for harsh actions. The leak also showed that public relations stories were being changed on purpose, showing a clear disconnect between what was going on inside the company and how it was seen by the outside world. A whistleblower was the person who leaked the information. They were an insider who could see secret meetings and emails. This person, who was probably unhappy with the way the company was going, chose to leak the information slowly and methodically so that it would have the most effect over time. The whistleblower's name is still unknown, which leads to guesses about what they were trying to do and what will happen as a result. Some of the most important information that came out was about chaos inside the government and questionable decisions made by President Barack Obama. The records showed that some of Obama's most important efforts, like those about foreign policy and health care, were affected by heated political fights within his own party. Among other things, emails and notes showed how deeply divided Obama's government was over the Affordable Care Act, ACA, and what was happening in Libya. Obama publicly backed these projects, but the leaks show that decisions were made in a more complicated and contentious way behind the scenes. The leak included rumors about Obama's personal life and relationships before he became president. Even though they can't be proven, these claims cast doubt on the official story and suggest connections with shady people. But these kinds of claims are still mostly false, so you should be careful with them. The stolen information could make people think very differently about Barack Obama. As a quick result, his decision-making processes are looked over. The records suggest that Obama may have been more politically motivated than he said. This makes it hard to believe that he didn't give in too much on issues that caused disagreement or that his government was as well-run as it seemed. Obama's confidence and goal-oriented approach might be hurt by the news of internal conflicts in his own office. If people start to think that his government is having problems within itself, his leadership image might not work as well. Also, the relationships and ties that have been made public could hurt Obama's image as a moral and honest leader, even if they are just guesses. 
People who support Obama, on the other hand, might not see the leaks as serious attempts to hurt his reputation. They would say that disagreements and fights within the government are normal and don't always mean that the leaders or people in power aren't honest or trustworthy. Still, Obama's critics are sure that the leak has changed the story to say that his leadership was less open and more questionable than it was shown. The public's quick and angry reaction to the leak shows how deeply divided Americans are politically. Obama supporters rushed to protect him, saying that the leak was fake or manipulated to hurt his reputation. They made it clear that disagreements within the government are normal and don't mean that people are dishonest or not good at their jobs. People who didn't like Obama, on the other hand, jumped at the chance to say that he was lying and not keeping a campaign promise. As pictures and posts that matched the leaked material became popular, hashtags backing and criticizing Obama started to appear all over social media sites. People who comment on politics and run for office also got involved. Obama fans and top Democrats were angry about the news, saying it was an attempt to change his record. They said that an educated government is based on internal arguments and that the stolen papers only showed a small part of how decisions are made. Obama played down the importance of the leaks by saying that the papers were troubling, but they didn't change the facts of what his government had done. He said the leak was done for political reasons and to change the course of events to support a certain agenda. Still, Republican lawmakers used the leak to back up their attacks on Obama's presidency. Some people said that the fighting within the government and the choices he made about policy showed that Obama cared more about politics than the country's well-being. Still, some Republicans urged people to be careful and said that a lot of study should be done before making any firm decisions. Greg Gutfeld, who is known for having bold and sometimes controversial views, didn't say anything about the leak. Gutfeld used his usual mix of wit and insight to cast question on the leak and how the media were covering it on his show. He said that people's reactions to the news were heavily influenced by their political views. Some people didn't believe anything in it, while others used it as an excuse to attack Obama. Gutfeld blamed the media for an unfair story on the leak and what he saw as selective anger. He said that political processes can't help but allow leaks like these because private debates are much more complicated than the public usually knows. In his normal way, Gutfeld questioned his audience's assumptions about the news they read by giving them thoughtful criticism with a funny twist. The leak quickly became a media frenzy that dominated the news and sparked a general discussion. Obama's supporters worked together to protect his reputation, while his critics used the new information to launch even more attacks. Arguments and talks on social media sites turned them into battlegrounds, showing how deeply divided society is. As we can see, the leak can change Obama's story for a long time by bringing up new scandals that go against his leadership. If the leak claims are true, they could change public opinion by revealing internal fights and policy differences that had been kept secret. For Greg Gutfeld, the leak might help to solidify his image as a controversial and upsetting commentator, which would make his fans stronger and bring more attention to his show. In a broader sense, this leak shows how the political debate is becoming more divided and how leaks affect public opinion. It also supports the idea that media bias and incomplete information shape the story. If you click on the movie on your screen, more shocking information will come out. As soon as there are changes, Make sure you like, follow, and click the bell icon.